Hey everyone, Mike back with another daily discussion, doing a little bit of wrestling today. Um, just thinking about how to book the Divas Revolution uh, going forward from where we are now. So, Charlotte at Night of Champions became the Divas Champion, and the next night on Raw, Paige turned heel and said, you know, Charlotte wouldn't be where she was if it wasn't for Ric Flair, and, you know, does the, they're saying, people were saying a pipe bomb um, in the Divas Division. I thought it was a really good promo, really good heel promo. And I'm just thinking about how we, they should book this going forward into at least Survivor Series, up until the end of Survivor Series. So, and then what happened, I guess, on SmackDown, uh, Paige came out to quote, to quote, apologize to Becky and Charlotte, and then, you know, made it all about her again anyway. Another great heel promo. Um, Natalia came out and basically was saying how the Divas division is, you know, the best it's ever been and all this other stuff and gets slapped by Paige. Um, so right now it looks like it's at least on, on the one side we have Charlotte and Becky and Natalia up against up against Paige. So I don't know if they've made any matches for Helena Cell beside Undertaker and Brock Lesnar. But what they should do is make a match, make a Charlotte and Paige match for Hell in a Cell. Have it be for the Divas Championship. Have, at one point, have Paige go out, maybe try to grab a chair um, or some other weapon, something like that. Have Natalia come out to, um, to stop Paige, grab the chair saying, you know, Paige, you're better than this, uh, you can win without this, stuff like that. Have that happen, and then immediately after... Natalia is done telling this to Paige, which it won't be on mic. It'll just be like in the camera mic, so it'll be, they would have to have the cam, camera posi positioning right, but um, have that happen and then have Natalia actually hit Charlotte with the chair, causing the disqualification, causing and then have um, Natalia and Paige start attacking, um, start attacking Charlotte, have Becky run in, um, you know, clear the ring, if you will, and then have... Becky and Charlotte in the ring, staring down the, staring down Natalia and Paige who are um, retreating. Um, this will build into what I would predict or would hope WWE would do for Survivor Series. So, Survivor Series, you, you have your your teams now. At least your 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 formations of teams have started. You will have Paige and Natalia against Charlotte and Becky. And for let's say for Paige's team. You could just get some other heel divas. Maybe she'll recruit the Bellas. Maybe she'll go after um, Team Bad. But that won't exactly, like, not everybody in Team Bad might want to join. I'll get to that in a little bit. So perhaps the heel team could be Paige and Talia and the Bellas against Becky and Charlotte. So, or what you could also possibly do is have. Paige and Natalia try to recruit Sasha Banks, and Sasha Banks uh, doesn't want to be on that on their team, and eventually ends up siding with Charlotte and Becky, making it um, Paige and Natalia Bellas against Charlotte, Becky, and Sasha, and they come out to the ring. They so um, heels. Let me see what faces are. I don't know. I don't know how you would um, introduce the teams of Survivor Series. It would be faces first or heels first. It might not matter. But let's say you do. Well, yeah, let's say you do faces first. So Charlotte, Becky, Sasha come out. Uh, I'm I'm putting Sasha as as a face for this because it's a, you know kind of like um, her and her NXT you know alumni in a match, not like making means that meaning that she's actually a face. But even though she wrestles in a in NXT to where she's not really a heel, not really a face, because of NXT, the way NXT is booked, which I think is way much a lot better than current WWE product. But, you know, they come out, heel team comes out, heel team, you know, gets in the faces team, the get, gets in the faces team's faces, like, that kind of, sounds kind of weird, but gets in their faces, be like, where's your fourth rest, where's your fourth teammate, you know, we don't mind doing a handicap match, we'll, we'll beat you like this, we'll, we'll take you th uh, four on three, we don't care. All of a sudden, Bailey's music hits, Bailey is the fourth member of the face team, I'm um, sorry, excuse me. Bailey is, yeah, Bailey is the fourth member of their team. So it's 
Bella's Paige and Talia against the four horsewomen. Um, doesn't matter who really goes over. Um, Becky or ba- Bailey will will then go back to NXT until she gets actually brought up. But they've done this at Survivor Series before, where they brought in some of the NXT people to actually work. Um, they brought in Emma last year. I don't know if Emma was actually on the main roster and then got sent back down to NXT afterward. But they could do that. They could, you know, just have the four horsewomen against the um, the heel diva team. And this would be a good way to maybe even bring Bailey into the main roster if they wanted to. I think they still they want to keep her on NXT for a while because they're still developing that division and she's, you know, like the leader of that division now. She's been there, as far as I know, been there the longest as, as far as the active res- the active wrestlers that are in the women's division in NX in NXT. So that's just how I would book this. You know, have Natalia turn heel, join Paige, and then have a Survivor Series match of, like I said, Paige and Natalia, the Bella Twins. Against Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks, Charlotte, and Bailey as the surprise fourth member of their, of their team, and I think it would be an awesome match. Um, especially like the only people that might not be doing great in the match would be the Bellas, but like I said, Nikki's improved quite a bit, and Br- Bree's gotten a little bit better too. And I remember seeing her in a match not too long ago that was actually decent. So that's how I would book the Divas Revolution going forward. After that, you know they can break up the teams, have some friendly feuds between the faces. It's one thing I like about NXT is that they don't need a face and a heel to to wrestle a match. They can just have a match because they want to have a match or they want to prove that they're the better wrestler, that kind of thing. But let me know what you think of this in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.